everyone so today I am going to talk about H2O auto ML package in R which is a very a useful package uh, for machine learning using R so let's say that uh, you are a person that you don't have a very good or very big knowledge in machine learning then uh, this package will be a very useful one to you at the same time uh, this uh, this is a very a unified interface so that means uh, you can run a variety of machine learning and deep learning models using this package at the same time the uh, other advantage of using this package is that you can uh, automate the process of training uh, for a large number of candidate models at the same time, since this is an interface with automate, uh, automated process, uh, you don't have to tune the hyperparameters in your model. Uh, for an example, if you run a, a gradient boosting algorithm or a deep learning algorithm, then uh, you have to uh, specify what are your hyperparameters and what are the ranges for your hyperparameters. But are using this H2 auto ML package you don't have to specify those uh, those things will uh, automatically uh, done by your uh, H2O package for you so you don't have to worry about those things all right so now I'm going to show you how to use this package using R so first you need to install this H2O package into your R studio so so in order to install that you you can go to this package and then you can uh, click this install button and here you can type h2o and you can install this after that you need to load this package into your r studio so uh so here in order to demonstrate uh, the usage of this package I'm going to use this uh, Titanic machine learning data set from a Kaggle website so first you have to go to this website and uh, download this uh, test.csv file and uh, train.csv file so after uh, downloading the data you have to import this data set into your R studio then I'm going to uh, look at how my uh, train data set uh, looks like so here you can see that uh, there are some columns where it was treated as an integer but I need to uh, convert them into factors for an example this uh, survived variable over here and PC class variable over here I need to convert them as factors and also I have to do the same thing for this embarked variable also and I need to repeat the same thing for my test data as well and uh, after that in order to initiate this h2o package first you need to create a h2o cluster so in order to create a h2o cluster you need to run this h2o.init command like this then it will automatically create a cluster for you so one of the most important thing is that you need to install a java in, into your machine in order to create this cluster for you so so if you have done it correctly then you should get a success message like this
all right so another thing that i need to remember or i should tell you is that uh, in this data analysis i am going to remove the variables which has a substantial amount of missing values so so for an example here you can see this age variable has a lot of missing values at the same time i am going to remove some variables which uh, uh, does not make any sense for an example you can see this a passenger id and this a uh, name variable and uh, this uh, ticket variable which correspond to a ticket number and uh, these kind of variables uh, and also this cabin variable so these kind of variables will not make any sense to our analysis so i am going to create a h2 of frame by excluding those variables so these indices correspond to the variables that i am going to exclude from my a train data set and a test data set so uh, the next thing that you need to create is this h2o frame so i am going to create this h2o frame using the only using the variables that i am going to use in this analysis so so like uh, like this you can create your h2o frames uh, by using this as dot h2o function so now you can see that uh, first i initialize my h2o cluster then i um, assign my h2o frames to my training data and a test data so the next step is to uh, run these machine learning algorithms so to run this machine learning algorithms i am going to use this h2o.automl function so inside this h2o.automl function you have to specify these uh, four required parameters so these are the uh, these are the uh, required parameters that you have to specify and the other parameters are the optional parameters so that means uh, those optional parameters you can specify if you want so the uh, the uh, the so out of these required parameters first you have to specify your response or your dependent variable so so in this analysis i am going to do a classification problem so my response variable should be a factor variable uh, in this case it is equal to survived variable the next step is to define your training frame so so here my training frame is this uh, train underscore d which is a h2o frame the next one is this maximum runtime so this argument will specify the maximum time that auto ml process will run in your computer so then you you can specify the maximum number of models that you are going to run so uh, this can be done using um, number of ways so for an example here i am going to uh, run this logistic regression algorithm so in that case you have to specify this uh, logistic regression model using this include underscore algos uh, option so here you can fit a variety of machine learning models for an example if you specify this uh, include dot uh, include underscore algos as uh, DRF then you can specify you can run random forest algorithms or if you want to run uh, XGBoost algorithms then you can specify it as XGBoost or for an example if you want to run these deep learning algorithms then you can specify it as deep learning so I will come back to it uh, later so my uh, next parameter that I'm going to specify is uh, this stopping metric. This is an 
optional parameter but uh, but anyway I'm going to specify this so here you have to specify what will be your stopping matrix uh, since I am doing a classification my uh, stopping matrix will be a misclassification error so in that case I'm going to specify my uh, stopping matrix as misclassification so if you go to this help page you can see that there are a lot of uh, stopping matrix that they, uh, you can specify for an example if you are doing a regression problem then you can use msc or rmsc or mae which correspond to uh, mean square error or if you are doing a, a classification problem like this then you can specify it, uh, uh, this stop a metric as uh, AUC or AUC PR likewise also I am going to define uh, one additional uh, parameter which is uh, called this end false so here I am going to do, uh, use uh, FIFO cross validation in order to tune the parameters so to do that I am going to choose um, my uh, number of faults as uh, 5 alright so now I'm going to run this command now you can see your model is training over here uh, and after after training has done you can see the results so in order to see the results what you have to do is first you have to type the model name then type at and after you type at you can see uh, these options you can access so if I use this leaderboard so here under this leaderboard you will see the all the machine learning models that you have uh, fitted using this AML object And here you can see based on this model UIUC is 0.82 and AUC PR is equal to 0.76 likewise. So let's say now I'm going to fit our two machine learning models which are a GLM and a gradient boosting. So in order to do BM also as an additional parameter. So if you run this object, uh, it may take uh, some time because now I am running two machine learning models. So it will take uh, comparatively uh, much time compared to the previous model. Um, so after you run this model and if you run this command which is uh, aml1 at leaderboard you will see the results of the all the models that you uh, fitted here and if you want to find the um, model with the best results then you have to specify you can obtain the results of the best model like this so that means if you type AML1 at leader, it will give you the results of the base model. So here you can see uh, the parameters of your base model. For an example, here this base model is a, a gradient boosting algorithm, uh, which has a 40 trees where uh, this minimum depth is 6, maximum depth is 7. And you can uh, AUC value is 0.95 and uh, these are the results of your confusion matrix likewise so let's say that uh, you need to run all of these models which are specified over here and uh, you need to compare the results in that case what you need to do is you have to simply remove this line of code from your code 
then if you uh, run uh, this model again you will see the results based on your all machine learning models but this will take some time because here for an example you are going to fit a deep learning model also so so depending on your data this may take like an hour or more than an hour so one last thing that i have to specify is that how to apply this uh, model results for your test data that means uh, in these first two steps that or in this in these two steps what i did was i uh, trained the data based on various machine learning algorithms and after that using this uh, leader method you can find the best model based on your training and using this best model uh, then you can apply your best model for your test data in order to predict the results so to do that you can use this h2o dot predict function so inside this h2o dot predict function first you have to specify your best model like this then you have to specify your then you can run this code and it will predict the results based on your uh, base model for your test data then you can see the results based on your uh, test data so that's how uh, this package will work uh, to fit uh, various machine learning models without having a very uh, big knowledge in machine learning so if you think this video is useful to you please subscribe my youtube channel and i will bring more useful videos in future thank you